Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mediocre At Best podcast episode 16. It's How... been a year since we've done oh, these. Honestly, it's been... it feels like it's been genuinely like months. It's only been like what? Three? Because at Easter happened. Yeah, I was saying earlier, I think I've got enough notes I reckon I can save some notes for the next podcast. I agree. Or just we'll make it like a little wee fun. Because like, like, like for example, uh, I put down on my notes uh, Ed Sheeran and the music stealing situation and then like I was looking through the notes this morning and I was like by the time this comes out that would be that would have been a month ago and no one ab- yeah. absolutely no one cares no. it's like I've had so many notes that some of them just aren't relevant yeah. anymore but also a lot of mine this week are quite big big-ish topics it's like skid so- <laughs> I've shot the window. Shot the window. <laughs> you need to cut that out. Yes. <laughs> I've shot the window. That's really loud still. Could we not? Um, like, not that. <laughs> Fucking turn God. Can you not? <laughs> not all of them are massive topics, but like they're big enough where it's not just like I say something and they go. But oh, we can actually God, discuss. I thought we were talking about like, like emotionally. No, no, I meant like we can actually discuss. Things. Like there will be yeah. meat to the topic. So we'll be six for days with this, but we're going to have to clips from this one. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Um, before we get into the drinks part, I do have to show off a birthday present yeah. that my mum got me. Right, it's so so my mum <laughs> my mum watches the podcast, so if you're watching, how you doing? Um, now, on my birthday, which was Easter Sunday, she said, I've got you this present. It's a bit random, but I hope you enjoy it. I open it, <laughs> and it's the mediocre best logo on a sodding mouse mat. My face is on a mouse mat. She's just gone onto the channel, like taking it straight from there and put it on a mouse mat. If if, if I thought anything was going to come off this, my face on a mouse mat wasn't It's so good. And to be fair, my old mouse mat was breaking. So so I needed a new one. And what better than (laughs) mediocre? There would anyone who doesn't know us was going, well, glad you asked. Because. (laughs) Now you've got a method of promotion. Yeah, I do. But it doesn't make me seem really. Self-centered. I go, well, as you are. Well, you know, and you can just like go, put the mouse one. over your face. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the nerdy Brit, you see, and that's Fraser Oliver. If you didn't know me, and you're then, talking to me, but you know. And then together, so there we go. That's wow. a bit of fun, isn't it? Now drinks. Uh, you don't know what I'm no, about to pull out. But also, here. we finally went somewhere that wasn't the campus. Yeah. So big up Tesco. Wow. Oh, up the Tesco. So cheeky discount. Um, this for both of them it costs six quid. So I really hope they're good. If they're not, we're in the bin. Layer cake, brew dog. Okay. Okay. That little. That little suck. Well, I mean, it's brew dog. So it's like, brew dog. I love brew uh, dog. So uh, a marshmallow and chocolate stout. Okay. I'm. I think this is either going to be class. Seven percent alcohol. Yes, that's basically class. two pints. Yeah, that's um, sick. So I think this is going to be class. But it's going to be fucking, fucking wank. dreadful. Yeah. Oh, you were dreadful. I went wank. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Up. No. The, to be fair though, it's brew dog. And I mean, I'm quite fond of like a decent like brew dog, like just like regular pint. Yeah. I, the reason why brew dog to me is a bit like the beer brewery in terms of like you're not you're you're never like gonna like down like loads of no it's, brew like, it's quite dogs, a but, like, special yeah, it's a very good city drink I'm excited yeah go on give it give it a it try all right so. yeah well I hope so it costs six pound not well three pound each Ooh. see it's nice but I'm not sure about the layer cake aspects like I can't really taste the layer cake oh so is it very too fair though you wouldn't want I'm, I, I'm not sure you would. But in the way, of, if someone said, "What's this meant to be flavoured?" I'm not sure I'd go layer cake in it. Or well, it is a weird aftertaste. Hmm, that's not great. Mm. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not is great. It? I'll drink it, but yeah, yeah like that's. Don't say I don't give yous anything, because that's... <laughs> uh, so the official review of um, this is um, about 4 out of 10. Yeah, it's not great. But good funny, in it? And I'll drink it, because it's booze, isn't it? It's booze, and I've paid for it, so you better fucking drink it. But yeah, it's... it's... <sighs> good concept. It is. Yeah, concept was there. Good concept, good content. Shit execution of the drink. So James, we were, uh, uh, I might have left that in, I don't know, but we were talking about we've got a lot of topics. Yes. So I'm going to start off with one that really fucking grinds my gears, and it has done for a fucking while, and this came up on... 
that. Really? Grinds my gears. gears. And this came up. <laughs> the reason I got this is because I listened to Jack Mix Happy Hour. It was one of them. And basically, there was a question. I think one, they were doing like a quiz. And the question was, who is Thor's father? Right? right. And Robbie Knox and Alfie Indra both went, oh, this would be one of those fucking Marvel freaks, no. And I was like, and then they did like a five minute thing of, oh, I fucking hate, oh, they're so charged. I'm like, if you don't like Marvel films, that is fine. But like, I hate people that make it their entire yeah. personality to despise Marvel films and everyone that enjoys them. Mm. Like, if you don't like them, fine. Don't like them, I don't care. Yeah. But when they're like, oh, it's just childish, I'm like, it, no, you mean that's it's childish. Like, <laughs> And to be fair, though, like, like, if you vaguely know all your Nork Dick stuff, Nork, Nord, Nord Dick, Nord Dick, Nord, yeah. Nord Dick, yeah. Nord Dick, <laughs> Nord Dick. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Fuck it. Not that's not funny. <laughs> that's not, <laughs> just not funny. <laughs> In case anyone was wondering, that's not funny. <laughs> um, so you know, like, if you vaguely know all of that, like your Greek god yeah. type, because he Greek. Uh, I don't know yet, Nord. Yeah, it's, it's something to do with Norse gods, that's what they are. Norse! Norse, we got there! I was. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got there. Nordic to Norse, yeah, hang in. Sure, why uh, not? Close enough! Yes! Um, <laughs> and you know, like, I feel like, not only. Like, like, I don't think that's, like, too niche. No. And also, I, I, I like, one of the things that springs to mind is I remember, like, like there's a quote from, like, Simon Pegg. He was like, I love Simon Pegg. Yeah. The one thing that pissed me off is he said something like, along the lines of everyone, the, like, like, being a nerd used to be special now people who see the first Iron Man think they're a nerd and it's like it's there's there's that's all that does is like I don't know we've talked about it before it like promotes like elitism amongst yeah. nerds all it which is, is uh, those elitism and nerds are two completely different concepts it's the whole thing now of gatekeeping everything mm. whether people in a certain I don't I, this is right, I don't really like the word but it used to be but it's, uh, in certain fans want to like completely yeah. like Oh no, this is, we've got all the fans we need now. It's like, well, and they're like, oh, it's like in the comment section, just like, oh, you know, like, I've watched this, 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 and this, and it's like, I didn't ask some. Yeah, or oh, when people are like, oh, you haven't read the Harry Potter books. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, oh, you haven't listened to every single big finish of all time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, if oh. you haven't read the books, you're not a fan. What? I mean, for Harry Potter. Yeah, but, no, but they could, like, because some people might not like books. They yeah. Could, in fact, like, yeah. you don't have. I hate the idea that you have to have seen everything yeah. as well to be a fan of it. And uh, it's almost like, the, like, maybe this is a stretch, and tell me okay. if this is a stretch. In most other subjects, knowing a lot about it and being passionate would be seen as, if you knew your history, really, if, if you could, you know, like, knew loads of facts about the wars and bloody yeah. 1066, like... You know, you are seen as clever and class. Yeah. If you know, like, lots and, like, know lots of facts about, like, like you, you know, like, nerdy things, that's almost seen as, like, a negative. It's, it's like... It's sad. It's like, well... I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Like, like, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> who asked? It's my who question. Are you? Like, people... Allow people to like... Well, if people like fucking My Little Pony, I don't care. Like, the thing is, I... Vo like we have said vocally, neither of us are a big fan of the Batman. Mm. But if people like it, sure, fine. You do enjoy you. the film, that's fine. You're wrong, but, but you're, enjoy you're it. allowed to admit that something's not for you. Yeah. And if Marvel isn't for you, that's fine. Fine. But the fact that like, oh, it's a chance of piss off. Oh, you're not allowed to like it. Well, I do. So fuck yeah. off. I've got Lego on my shelf. I'm a twenty year old man. Piss off. All right. Yeah. If I like Marvel, you like Marvel. You like what you like. Yeah, but a lot of them are Marvel ones. To be fair, there's some quite cool ones. I was going to say, to be fair, I've got all of the all of the new Marvel ones, like Falcon, Captain America. Big up Sylvie. Yeah. Big up Zombie Cap. Yeah. Big up Newt. I've got what's her name? Captain Carter's there somewhere. Captain Carter. Scarlet Witch is there. White Vision. Bloody Monica Rambeau. Yeah. I just want to complete the set. Was it too fast? No, but yeah, but yeah. Loki Mon. He's got a little um, frog Thor with him as well. Oh! It's a, it's a good funny. Big up. It is a good funny. Croaky. Croaky. Nice. Good. Nice. I like it. I wanted the lizard, Loki. Yeah. In Lego. That'd Wait, maybe cool. that is Sylvie's thing. Is Sylvie got this? Lo who? This is a... You can't even see, but I think she might do. 
Yeah. Oh, she does, yeah. Okay. Well, cool. She's got a fucking lizard. I don't think she was known for many other lizards. I've completely, like, probably, like. That's okay. You've probably, like, measured out, I like, really exactly, haven't. I bet you have. I actually haven't. I just good. knocked them all over the place now, because. But overall, um, Alfie and your diss track coming your way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd never. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to do a diss track on Robbie Knox there. No, nah, to be fair, though, Fruit Nonce. But. <laughs> fruit Nonce. Niche reference. Pick up, pick up that. Niche reference. Uh, well, I don't actually. I don't Good know. fruit nonce. I think I even loaded my notes. Oh, um, Jane, that's her. Um, 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 um. We missed the quote segment. I've got some sick quotes. Fuck. Fuck uh, quotes. It's because I didn't. Shit. Oh, what's the context behind that? It's better without context. Or is it? Ah. Uh, because I might know the context. Oh no! Right. So, uh, I, I want to do a little little segment about this because 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 it's a good funny. Okay. Um. So I was around the grandparents uh, over o o over Easter, and I just found the way he like phrased this funny. So we were talking about like Andy Murray being a yes. bit being a bit like crap recently, right. just like just like, and my granddad just turns and just goes, "Just give up, should he?" <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, to be fair, I don't particularly disagree with him. Like it's maybe just, like leaving your Wimbledon yeah. A day, not just like but just give up, just give up, it? <laughs> and it was like it, it was, like the conversation like turned to like Ronaldo, which was like, well, he should give up and all. <laughs> he just thinks the whole you just replace every sports person. I love it. I like that's the one thing that I love most about my grandparents. Like the way they mm -hmm. like they're just so. You get to that age, you're not really bothered anymore. Yeah, it's, it was funny. It's, it is good. <laughs> uh, give up. I, I also appreciated um, a quote from Fabian because uh, oh. I also um, uh, I went to see see Fabian. Um, oh, and uh, so we were talking. Uh, I don't know how we got into this conversation, um, and don't ask. Um, but basically, uh, the quote is: um, so uh, during um, sexual activity, um, finishing uh, on the face. Uh, is like signing your artwork. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> and I will neither confirm nor deny <laughs> my reaction to that. I think I just laugh, to be fair, because that's, I mean, that's what you get with Fabian, is you just don't know how to react. You don't react. have to react. You can't really respond to it. So like, you just you laugh. Just don't laugh. Speaking of the grandparents, I've got some great Fabian quotes. Oh, do you? I've got a whole notes tab of Fabian quotes. Oh, you've got to read us a few. Read some of few. them are a bit mental. Come on, have I still got them? Things oh, crossed. Must, to be yeah, content. there we go. So <laughs> we've got this is straight vodka, and I've just killed the fetus <laughs> because he didn't realise it was straight. He thought it was a vodka lemonade. Drank it, realising it was straight vodka, and just came out with that. Which again, how do you respond? Uh, Twit who I'm gonna fuck you. Was another one? Because <laughs> I think he was told someone and they went, oh, I'm a night owl. So he just turned around, <laughs> to to it, to we're going to fuck, fuck you. you. And I was like, sure. <laughs> um, and my friend, fuck you. He just literally turned around with so much confidence. I was like, twitch, we're going to fuck you. I was like, sure. <laughs> sure. Um, Straight bloke, by the way. Yeah. It's, uh, it's enough to make a grown man come, not cry, come. Which he, he made sure it was clear that it was a crime. And I've got 178 beans fucking getting. <laughs> Wait, was that? Among I was on, us. I was on a mug because Among Us suddenly started gaining beans. It was like, it's like a currency thing. And so at the end of the game, he realised he had 178 got a bit excited. And I can't just admit beans. Get in. <laughs> get in. They got what bloke? What um, bloke? I love him. I love him. We should get him on. We should, we should have a good That'd be good We'll do it over the summer. Yeah, we will. Yeah, oh, I'm excited. Get, get, get Paul on. Get, Paul, get the whole crew on. All of them. Big gang pod. Big gang pod. <laughs> gang pod. Gang pod. Uh, so, uh, I went and saw my grandparents. Yes. Now, I've talked about vaguely, I think, like, over, like, n like New Year stuff. I mentioned the way going to see my grandparents works. Lots of cups of tea. Yeah. Um, lots of... Talking, um, which you know, it's like it gets a bit dead because, like, they're retired, they don't talk to anyone but each other. So, like, <laughs> you're gonna talk about a certain like, amount what before. interesting stories can they come up with? None, um, so it's just you know, it gets a bit dull. Um, I, I, you know, like, they say they also like, I know these are kind of like quotes as well. They said they were saying some, like, like for example, like. Like, my, like, so we were talking about Boris Johnson at one point. Obviously, of course, yeah, we were. Obviously. Good, big With up all politics. the drama that happened there. Um, and at one point, he just, like, turns to me, looked me dead in the eye and said, well, at least you'll be alive to see him go out of power. And I was like, 
All right. Sorry, Grandad. Uh, something you want to tell me, fam? <laughs> <laughs> um, terminal illness coming around the bend. Um, you good? All, all, all right, son? <laughs> all good, all good home? And, like, my, my grandma's clearly feeling a bit frail. Like, we'd, like, go out for, like, a little walk. And she would be clinging onto my arm. And, like, oh. this wasn't just, like, a I'm being nice. This was a, if I let go of you, I could stumble off into the road and meow. <laughs> like, what a charming way to talk about your grandmother. <laughs> oh, I barely see him. And, you know, like, I, I've said this before. And people can feel yeah. free to call me, you know, like an emotionless dingbat. But, like, at the end of the Great. day... I've not heard dingbat in a fair while. I might like, back. I see, we see each other, like, sort of, like, like... I feel like, because like, I've known people like have like all of their family live in like, the same location. It feels a lot more like they're part of your central family. Mm. Mine don't, because we see them so little, they don't actually feel like family There's in a weird way. They're just people you don't see. Yeah, it's just people that you know. It's like, it's like a family friend, and it's like, oh wait, yeah, you two fucked and created my father. <laughs> what a charming way to put it. It's kind of true, isn't it? No, it is. Talking... No, that's a, I cannot do that. No, no, go for it, go for it. Um, nah, you fuck yourself now. I was gonna go... Talking of fucking... People fucking beds. There's something annoys me about beds, James. Okay. Uh, I'm people quite, do fucking beds, by do. the way. I have... I have what, what has been described as, like, OCD tendency. Where, like, things, like... Have to be a certain. Some things have to be a certain way. Not everything, as you can see, but some things have to be a very certain way. Sorry, thing, the way you started this segment, I want to know where this is going. It's about beds, beds and fucking. No, I had to get from. You said your grandparents fucked you. Oh, down, so that to so fucking. So you tried to get a transition. It just beds completely worked. Yeah, that, that, that's that why was... I said I wasn't going to do it, and you said do it, so I did. That was poor. Um, from you. Now. I went on holiday to the Isle of Wight, okay? You and something did? that really can confirm. pisses me off about hot going on holiday in the beds are the sheets are never fitted to the bed, right? So they're not elastic on the corners. Right. So they're just like fucking blankets that are tucked in. Yeah. And that really pisses me off, James. And I don't know why. Because it shouldn't be on me. But then I get an elastic sheet and it still doesn't fucking fit to the bed. So I wake up and I'm led on a bare mattress. Because I roll around quite a lot in my sleep. And it's a real trouble, James. It makes me quite emotional. All that's going on in the world right now. I know. And it, we, this podcast is just two white blokes just moaning <laughs> about insignificant problems. That's, oh, that needs to be in the bio somewhere. <laughs> two white men moaning about insignificant problems. You know, like, we're that not... should be in That's Great. We're not, the, you know, like the, like the straight white men. So, you know, that like... should be like, the Twitter bio. We've got, a, we've got some form of minority in us, so therefore... That, that should be on the Twitter bio, though. Yeah. Two straight men waffling about insignificant issues. Oh, two white men. Right, what did I say? Straight men. That, I meant white. Definitely going to be restrained. Cock, cock, cock! Fucking knob. Not you, not you. Cock, cock, cock! Fucking knob. Sorry. It's been a while. It's been a good one. It's been a good So it's going to be a bit. Higgledy piggledy. Higgledy piggledy. Um, mm. So I think while we're on the, the topic of things that <laughs> really annoy me okay. and stress me out. So I, growing up, I never tend to get the bus or the train. That was a completely alien concept to me growing up. What, I just never really, chauffeur. I just never really used the bus or the train. I'd either walk or I'd get a lift from my parents. I'd never get... Cause, bang him, bang Just because it stressed me out a bit. Oh. And then I'd get into uni. I was like, I'm... Need to start doing that, really. Yes. The other ones can't get anywhere. Buses are fine, right? I can deal with buses because long as I go on a bus, usually it's what like a quarter of an hour. I can deal with that. What does stress me out is getting the train home because I'm like I'm tired, so I kind of want to sleep. But what if I sleep and then I miss my stop? And I see people sleeping on the train, and I'm like, how are you doing that? Do you like? Can you sleep? Because I could never I, sleep on the train. Well, I can't sleep on public train or just transport okay. in general. So I don't find that problem. I think for me, I've talked in this podcast before about bus anxiety yeah. and how much I hate buses. I find because I grew up on, I, I grew up like taking the train here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. Bish bash bosh, fuck it. So it's like I really don't mind the train, and also because I can't sleep on there, I'm just like, well. Pop on a podcast, like, pick I, up. 
I wish I didn't get like tired enough to want to sleep on a train mm. because, but I will like literally coming back after Easter. I felt myself, and I came back quite late, mm. so I felt myself getting sleepy, and I was like, I can't do this because if I fall asleep, what if I miss my stop? Oh. And then I end up with fucking Penzance. <laughs> Don't like Pen. Don't want to be Penzance. Nice, no, like who I want? Trust me, Penzance. I've never been to Penzance. I have. Generalization. Is it okay? It was mm, been naff. Like in what? It, talk to me about the naffness of. It's Penzance. only like famous because it's like the most what southern oh, or western, yeah. maybe both. Oh, it's like one of those. point in England. It's, it's a town, but like it's so only it's famous for that. But it's just like just a bit shit. <laughs> like it's it's like a Chavi Truro. Oh, Chavi, that's got a nice ring. But to just it. worse. Chavi Truro. Truro, like, I say Truro is. Truro's fine. Truro's, Truro's quite nice. Just, I, I, no, that's a bad comparison. It's like a, yeah, I say. it's like a it's shit. Is it like the western of the? the no, it's like like playing western. It's worse than western. Yeah. Fucking hell. Penzance is just. I'm sorry. If you live in Penzance, stop watching. I do now want to go. Please don't. We need the watch time. Yeah. I do kind of want to go on a trip to Penzance now, just to see what it's like. Sure. Why we not? Don't have there's a spoon. We went to so Penzance. I can get wanker. If there's a spoon, we're fine. Exactly. We we'll just get wanker. I haven't got wanker in a while. I kind of want to get wanker. Lucky you. Eh? In case that was nice. In case anyone gives a shit, I kind of want to get wanker. So I might do. Might treat myself. Why? Oh, hey. We're already half a shite brew dog there. Oh, there was a brew dog. So we went on a day trip to Plymouth and there was a brew dog there. Mm. And I've never been in a brew dog, like, far before. Neither have I. So we should definitely do that at some point. And I want That's to stay in the brew dog. He's there. Oh, sick. And the brew dog hotel. The brew dog hotel. We one need thing. to stay in the brew dog hotel. Oh. That would be great content. Yeah. And just, oh, just beer. Beer. Just beer there. I like beer. Beer. <laughs> Sure, sure, James. <laughs> Big up. Um, niche reference. Niche, yeah, but we, look, this podcast, I realise this, is full of niche references. And if you understand There them, are so many niche references. Because not it, even when we make a reference, not always do we then say good references. So sometimes no, so there are references and we don't we, acknowledge We don't say the references. references. So you just have to, if you know they are, we don't even acknowledge it. And we are the Easter Egg Podcast. Oh, your battery is oh, dying. Oh, a meltdown. James. Oh. Yes. How are your notes coming up? Cause oh, I, shit, yeah. Sorry. I don't want to exhaust... Oh, don't exhaust yourself. My resources. Oi, oi. You um, um, I feel like I am misrepresented by the uniform of my work. Okay. So, for example, I was, you know, like walking to the bus stop. Yes. Um, and like, I would never get this uh, in, you know, in like the area I live. But like, I got to have the uniform on. And I had this old woman going... Oh, hi, you're all right, darling. And I was like, first of all, why would you sound like Fabian? Second of all, like, leave me alone. Like, I'm not clocked in. I'm not being paid to Wait, be nice where were to you. you at the, where were you at this point? Walk to the bus stop. Okay. It wasn't in work. Okay, so, so you... I'm not clocked in. I'm not being paid to be nice to you, but it's like... Yeah. And it's like, I'll get... I, like, I noticed, after that incident, I noticed it a bit more, like, the way like the way I'd get, like, looks and, like... like like, like the, the, the fact that people expected me to like present myself as like a nice human being. Just because you had your Tesco uniform on. It's not like a big deal. I just don't like the no. idea of having to present myself as a nice human being to like people I don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, so yeah, we were talking about this. I think this would be quite cool to pick up. Is we were talking about how you give very like truthful feedback. Yeah. And it means that when you're genuinely mm. nice, you can tell, and it means more. And I, I think that's a co- uh, like a trait more people should have. I came to the realization today that isn't a hundred percent true because I realized if I'm not actually like your friend, I'm usually a little bit more polite. Yeah. Just because it gets to the point where there's no point in like actively irritating you. There's no point in like alienating right. you. Because you know that I sometimes can be harsh, not because I'm an arsehole, but actually because, like you're, you, like you're asking me a question for a reason. Yeah. Like because for example, want... if you do an acting piece yeah. and you go, "Was that good?" If yeah. I thought you were shit, yeah, I'm gonna t- because then because then, then go, yeah, I'll go okay, and then I'll be settled, and then I won't. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But then if I tell you. 
If I tell you then tell you, you know, well, that was quite good, you'll know, oh, right, that was actually good. Yeah. So you'll gain more from the positives. You learn more from the negatives. You know what? If I don't like your new haircut, you know, if you go blue again, I'll probably go, you know what, mate? You do look like a Smurf. Yeah. I love the Smurfs. You still kind of love But, you know, I quite like the vibe. Thank you, James. Today, it's more just, you know, when you go up top I blue. thought I loved a new red shirt today. Oh, can I see? Of course you can. Yeah, cool. Fair with us, lads. Yeah, sorry, yeah, just, you know, like, I don't know if this is staying in or I'll be, you know, like... Well, I put it under my white shirt oh. suit, so I was thinking what it looks like. Ooh! I thought it was quite nice. Ooh, very, like, posh waiter vibes. Thank you. That's in a good way. 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 No, mm. yeah. Where'd you get that? Um, a little vintage shop in Vans. Oh, I went so camp just then. I know. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? <laughs> we get Alan Carl sat next to me. Fucking Fuck hell. Me. Oh my god. I never get a proper. I bet it's from O2. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> is it? Oh. What is it? What is it? I'm just gonna show you the text and leave you not guessing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, Good. I've got a friend uh, who um, bought some toilet roll when we were in town and then left us with my gaff. Um, <laughs> Fuck I'm going to steal it and shit yeah. it. <laughs> More for that. I'll be so stressed. I'm going to text her back and get you a response on the podcast. Uh, right. Oh, that's great. So, that's amazing. The funniest oh, thing well, is, just context, she has been talking about needing toilet roll for about a fucking week. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> there. Uh, well, said? I guess you will need to buy more then. Uh, but I need to send up a follow-up text. Uh, uh, but thank you for the thank rolling my shits. That's incredible. What a fucking mug. Oh, that has absolutely made my <sighs> day. Such a fucking idiot. Like, you know, at the end of the day, like, also, it's not like a four pack. She's, you know, like a four pack. Doesn't, like, she bought a nine pack. Oh, no, she's bold. Like, that's that's a week and a half for me. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, no. Two weeks. Yeah, two, 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 three weeks. Oh, I underestimate that entirely. Probably yeah. double that. Um, like, yo. So, what, well, I'm back to the grandparents. Yeah. I haven't actually fully read my notes yet, so I don't know, there might be more grandparents. That's this fine. is a grandparent thing. I went to the cleverest cafe in the world. Okay. So, Cafe Nero. Yes, I like Cafe Nero. I was there today. Pisses me off. I was there today, in the Valmouth one. Yeah. Me and the toilet roll merchant uh, went there um, for lunch about uh, 12-ish. Me and Parker went there for lunch about 1-ish. Yo, we must have just missed each other as well because like, I was probably in like Tesco Express about one ish. Yeah. Oh, that's I was in mental. Super Drug Wait. for a bit. We must have just missed each other. Yeah, I must have been about one ish. We must have been in such close proximity. Wow. Where did you sit? This is going to be relevant. Right, no, right in the window. You oh, couldn't. Nice. If you came yeah. in, you wouldn't have missed us. That's sick. Oh. Wowza. <sighs> Fucking wowza, sure. But the toilet roll merchant yeah. got brie and bacon. Lovely idea for I, a sandwich. I should say. Onion chutney. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed with that. Why? Yeah, no, literally, that's what I got today. And I was like, this is banging. And this then there was some shitty onion, and I was like, mm, not really. Pisses ideal. me off about most. I'm a boring human being. Okay. Pisses me off about most things. They're kind of like, right, we'll put this interesting ingredient in, this interesting ingredient, and then we'll fuck this in just to yeah. fuck you off. This cafe in. Dorset. Okay. Oh, I love Dorset. Big up Dorset. A uh, shout out. Um, if you're listening from Dorset, which you're probably not. Um. So we went to the cafe. Yeah. And it's. I think it's the cleverest idea ever. So obviously their main thing is sandwiches. Cool. So it's like pick the style. I know there was panini, there was toasty, and there was something else. Okay. But like a different style of sandwich, probably like a bap or something. Cool. I love a bap. And what they said was, just pick two. Okay. Just pick two things. Any two things. Any of these two things. They'll like bacon, you can put sausage in there, little little egg, like little range of cheese. So I could finally have a proper brie and bacon sarmi without any of the fucking about. And? And obviously it was made fresh as well. I think more cafes should do it. 
They're, they're, they're like a build your own. Like a proper like they'll build your own That's song. Sick. That's so I can really have good. exactly what I wanted. Everyone came away happy because they picked it themselves. Because yeah, there was no pissing about. Obviously, somewhere like Cafe Nero, you can't do that because that's not the type of vibe. But like, what I'm saying is like it keeps there things be simple. More of those cafes. And it means you can have what you want. Like even in like an actual cafe, like that's not really usually the no. vibe. I think that's really clever. Yeah. And I really rate it. While we're on Cafe Nero, every time we go, Parker has this sausage roll. He does. I've never had it before today. I tried a wee bit of it. It's, have you ever had it? No, but it it's doesn't look not, great. So it looks... It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. It was a, I would genuinely rather have a, one from fucking Greg's at this point. You alright? <laughs> it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. There's so many things you can put with that. Clip it, guys. The Batman. Yeah, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> My relationship with it. <laughs> Mad. Cut that right out. Nah, fuck it, keep it in. Cutting keep it that in. right out. Keep it in. Absolutely not. <laughs> My relationship with her. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> keep that in. I don't yeah, care. I don't care. I'll keep both in. <laughs> bang it, Good bang funnies. it. Bang it. Uh, don't date men on a podcast, because then we will slander <laughs> you <Yeah>. afterwards. <laughs> That's really mean. Oh, yeah, Fuck it. I don't care. Um, no, because they are. Um, so, I generally would choose like a bakery sausage roll oh, God, yeah. over the one I had at cafe. I only had a bit of it and it just was too much pig meat, mate. Too mm. much pork. I, I feel like it's quite, like, like the, the Cornish among us might feel like this is a bit sacrilegious. Like, all of like these bakeries and stuff, like, I'd rather just the Greg's, not go on. Yeah. No, I, Greg's is great. Because basically, the thing is though, like I love a bit of steak, yeah. and steak in a pasty is lovely. Now that's why a steak baking from Greg's is so fit, because you just, just steak. get steak, nice bit of flavouring in the gravy, and some nice wee oh, bit of pastry. we had this, didn't we? I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> if I wanted a potato, space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar, and steak, pasty, it's... I, I know what I'm getting into. If you want to label something as a steak pasty, That's and then basically it's a potato, it. and there's about three little dollops of steak, fuck off! Literally. And the worst thing, here's the worst thing, is when it's not chunks of steak. I hate it when it's like shredded beef steak. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Give me some chunks of steak, please. Yes. Actually, give me something to chew I generally, off. I had a Cornish pasty. I went on a holiday a couple oh. years ago. I oh, had a Cornish, Cornish pasty? I had a Cornish pasty, and it was like shredded beef. No. And I was like, I'm sorry, what the fuck? Other than that, it was good. Hand good, it back to him. A good level of veg, it was good. Gravy, but... Shredded? Shredded beef. I felt like throwing it in their faces and going, Rather have fucking sorry. shredded wheat in there than shredded only, beef. Not only... <laughs> fuck shame. Not that's, only, that's really pissed me not off, not only, It's not even like they labelled it as steak pasty. They labelled it. They had the fucking audacity to label it as a Cornish pasty. And I was like, sorry... Put some fucking chunks of meat in there then, not little strings. Because if it's strings meat, you can't fucking taste it, cunt. While we're on fucking shredded meat. Keep going, keep going. Whenever, so whenever we have Christmas dinner, right? Yeah. Or, or any roast dinner. Like, so my mum's lovely. She, she'd make us a roast every... <laughs> my mum's lovely. She'd make us a roast every Sunday. Yeah. All right, really nice. She still does. I'm not there, but that's fine. Um, I love them. They're really nice. And when we had chicken or beef and it would always be shredded up, right? That's... Fine. Cunt. Fine. That's okay. Fine. Whatever. Because you did it in the slow cooker, so it would just sort of tenderise, and there was just... And... But then... And it especially was terrible at Christmas, because she'd then make it into a curry. Which sounds like the leftovers of the chicken. Which... Sh shredded... Fine. But then, it shredded chicken in a curry. By which point, it's a bit of sauce with onion and veg, with little bits of stringy chicken. Nothing worse. You're just basically scrambling sauce and rice. Right. All I'm going to no say is, man. the only thing that should be shredded is paper, mm. or maybe pork. Or wheat. Little, or, or wheat. I don't really like shredded wheat. <laughs> Neither do I, but yeah. But like, you know, pulled pork, shredded wheat, do your documents, <laughs> pork. and fuck off.
<laughs> There's a quote. Shredded wheat, pulled pork, do your documents and fuck <laughs> off. Shred your wheat, pull your pork, do your documents and fuck off. I won't tweet that. I was going to say, yeah, please tweet that. That's <laughs> yeah. great. Shred your wheat, pull Jess, your pork. Jess, social media manager, <laughs> when you're seeing this, can you tweet that, please? Shred your wheat, pull your pork, oh do God, your documents quote, and quote fuck of the off. week from the podcast. Yeah, that's Stay great. Up. That's so good. Um, no, but I thought I'd just get on that little rant. I was expecting to go on that rant. But no, yeah. I, I... Shredded meat in anything is wild. I needed to support you through that journey. The only because... thing, yeah, the only, the only meat that should ever be shredded is pulled pork. Because pulled pork is the food of the gods. I'm not even sure I'm that. No, I pulled love pork pulled pork. Yeah. But when it's yeah, fucking shredded beef me. in a Cornish, they label it Cornish. Mm. <sighs> no. Um, okay. Right, this pissed me off. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, this podcast is literally 90% us moaning about things that have pissed us off that really don't matter. Yeah, oh, I've got three topics left, son. I've got the same, I reckon. Uh, so my dad was talking about this. And the thing is, though, I can't give you too much context about this. Okay. Because this conversation happened like a week ago. And I just don't get what he means. Right. So, define a setting Sorry? in... In, like, a film or a book. Define a setting. I mean, define like, what it is? Yes, or a... that's what definition means. Well, well, it's, like, where something takes place. Like, a setting is where it takes place. Yeah. So, like, yeah, like a seaside or a forest. Now, my dad was talking about... I'll elaborate on this, but his first statement that pissed me off was... Sci-fi, science fiction, is a setting. For fuck's sake. Because apparently, because his argument was, if it's set in the future, it's setting is sci-fi. And no. I was saying, no, it's setting is the future. Yeah. That but, is, but even then, it's a sci-fi the, genre, but, it's set in the future. But even then, Star Trek is set on the Star Trek, en on the fucking Starship Enterprise. Star Wars is set on, like, Tatooine and fucking... Mm. Like, so it's, no, look, it's a genre, my friend. And then he starts going on about, well, the Western is a setting. And I'm going, no, no the fucking, fucking desert is the a, setting. It's a genre. Like, no, I... Like, what the fuck? I don't have many bases to go with this topic. No, it's just it's doesn't just make sense. Dumb. I don't... Saying, saying that Western films are a setting is mental. Set in a Western. Yeah. No. no. It's That's a genre. It's, it's, genre, it's a western it? film. It's what, a western... set in a western. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Where, what's it setting? Oh, it's, it's set... so, this sci-fi setting was wonderful. Yeah. Fuck off. Like, yeah. The... Oh, that's really pissed me off. No. I don't know why. Bullshit. It's just that, it, that that's what it is. There's no argument there. Mm. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I, I, I I do not I do not <laughs> I do not understand it. If 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 I speak, I'm in trouble. Honestly. Um, setting a. There's just two very different things. But, fine. at least with this one, you can tell me whether I'm being clever, okay. being stupid. Okay, I will, don't worry. I made the realisation that I was spending four quid a month more on Spotify than I needed to. Okay. Because basically, I missed the payment. Right. So then I was like looking on the plans, I was like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly look at the plans just to make sure I'm on the right one. And then I realised, oh wait, if I, if I use Fally Uni... Yeah. I can get this for five nine nine, so nine 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 a month, and I, 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 I like, I, I'm calling Spotify a luxury is a bit is a bit much. But, but Spotify premium, premium, yeah, I think like premium, yeah, like premium, like like, but, but, but like it's something I can't do with. No, I could never. I like like I couldn't deal with like ads or like not actually just be able to pick a song within that's, my music. That's the thing I forgot that you didn't get. Um, on like not that you can't just pick a song. You can only skip like five times as well. And also like for example like. Even then, like, for example, if I played, I'm not sure if this is the same now, when I used to use free Spotify, you could shuffle Hamilton as an album. Yeah. And what it would do is, because they know, because they want to convince you to get premium, it worked, but they'll also put, like, their own, like, yeah. like other songs in there. Yeah. You can't, you they can't. They like, recommend songs. You can't just shuffle Hamilton. No. You that, like like you'll get some Hamilton and you'll get some other like, some, like limits. recommendations in there yeah and, and like, you can only skip five times so not worth it. But I was thinking on the what like when it happened I was feeling like really clever going yes I'm now saving four pound ninety nine a month. Now looking back I'm thinking was I just stupid for not realizing there's a student plan for Spotify? 
Potentially. But then, but the thing is, is I wish more things had student plans. But like Netflix should have a student plan. No, I'd bang that. Disney Plus should. Mm. Be, oh. that went up, didn't it? it did, went up to like yeah. Like I don't know Disney. Because basically, me and my sister, um, Netflix. Please don't crack down on our password sharing. Uh, but yes. like. So basically, uh, I saw Netflix, she pays for Disney Plus, and then we just share passwords. Right, okay. So I, all I know is Netflix is 9 nine nine. so I'm probably getting shagged by that. Yeah, Disney Plus thing's like seven ninety nine. So you But you know, like, I, I'm not asked. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a nice, bubbly soul. I just realised I'm paying for my entire family to have Disney Plus. Big up yourself. I own, I'm the only place to Disney Plus. Speaking of Netflix. they've got profiles on it. Speaking but then they pay for Netflix for me, so. Oh, uh, yeah. When we're the, the, I know this is a bit of a, like, a sidetrack. Yes. On Netflix, have you seen Hard Sell? No. So it's Catherine Tate's new thing. Okay. Where she plays, like, five or six like different characters amongst like, other. And, like, it's quite good. It's quite fun. Nice. Not amazing, but, you know, it was. It's, very much like in terms of like episode like number and length like very much like the same as like Afterlife okay, so nice. six 25 minute yeah. episodes okay. so you, you could like like I think I did it in two days that was like the ending like spoilers I don't think it's particularly popular and obviously I only watch it because I'm fond of Catherine Tate so there's a character who was like like so it's set like a prison yeah this character's like, like wrongfully accused but like they're just like this like like played by Catherine Tate and she's just like really timid and really sweet and I was just there like you just like root for this character the entire time and like what they're doing is like and like a lot of the comedy comes from this but they basically like they're aiming to like create a musical at the right. end of it for like women's reform okay because like only women's prison is kind of just like like it's kind of like is it like like the Scandinavian idea yeah, where it's yeah. kind of like which to be fair I I like I know this is a sidetrack but I agree with the idea of you're more like you're less likely to reoffend if you're educated and you know you ha you mm. you know you feel like prison is more of a learning curve rather than just I yeah, am in yeah, I am yeah. in prison to stew and get angry mm. like yeah. that's not going to help anyone like get a degree while you're in prison but so the plot twist of the ending is. So there's so, so they do the musical and they write it and it's about prisons. Okay, nice. And don't if you're gonna watch it, don't watch it for the musical itself because it's very much about you don't get like interesting yeah. musical numbers or anything. It's it's a good show. I'd recommend you watch yeah, it. It's getting I'm quite to. it's getting quite bad reviews actually. But um but the plot twist the ending is this really nice timid character is actually putting on an act all along. So there's a scene where they're talking about like a prison riot and a character gets stabbed with one of those like prop knives. Nice. And the plot twist is, is that she gets released from prison, but before she does, she swaps the plastic knife with a real knife, and there's just like this proper like dramatic like switch where she just goes, yeah, uh, like 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 she's stupid. She, you just see her uh, get stabbed, and it just like ends. Fucking hell! And like I was just there thinking, oh, good fun bubbly comedy, and then suddenly I just shut myself. <laughs> Like genuinely, I was just, <laughs> just like, what the fuck am I? Just sat there minding my own business, up in materials. Nice. And suddenly, I wasn't. At, I, just, I don't know why I said that. Up in materials. I wasn't. I've never. I haven't eaten a Cheerio in the last five years. <laughs> you seem very defensive about that. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Quite like a honey Cheerio, actually. Oh, honey Cheerios. Are so much whole better. grain Cheerios. Here, oh my god. Is that? Uh, I swear that's a yeah, thing. Yeah, like, my granddad used to eat them. No. Do my granddad? <laughs> do my granddad does eat every morning breakfast bran flakes? <laughs> Big up. <laughs> he literally, since he was about 30, he just had a bowl of brown fakes for breakfast. I kind of rate that to be quite... Uh, With lunch, he has pilchards on toast. Which is mental. He literally cold pil cold tinned pilchards. That actually <laughs> makes me want to vomit. No, wait for it. So this is what he does, okay? So it's Should like, I take a drink or should no, I leave no, no. that for a sec? So a slice of brown toast, toasted. What are those? Slice of brown toast, toasted. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. And, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what happened to the toast. He waits for it to go cold. He then puts one of those American style cheese slices on them. You know, the plastic cheese slices on the toast. And then pours a tin of cold pilchards. You can see the fish. You can see it. Cheesy like the fish on toast. It's not even like it's we get tuna any can that you can't really see. You can, it's a literal fish. Two literal fishes on his toast. And he just grabs that. With garlic bread. With garlic bread? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry. Two bits of garlic bread. Do you have a puppet dog on the side, for fuck's <laughs> sake? Whip out the prawn crackers. Why? I don't know, James. I'm sorry. I don't I'm know. sure he's a lovely man. He sounds like a cretin. <laughs> I don't know why he does it. Jesus. And I mean, I this mean, the garlic I, bread I, I, mean, I, I mean, every day without fail. I mean, every day when you have when your main meal is toast, he, and you have it with a side of garlic bread. He has a bread. cupboard full of these tins of pilchards. My question is, how did he first have this meal? I don't know. How do you start? How how do you go? Oh, I really fancy some cold fish on toast with cheese. With cheese and garlic bread. Cheesy fish with garlic bread. With garlic. Does he have like a garlic baguette? Is yeah, it like a garlic a, baguette. He has two whole garlic baguettes. No, two bits of the garlic baguette. Just, just. <laughs> What's worse, <laughs> two, just two little rolls of the garlic baguette, or to like two whole garlic baguettes? <laughs> I don't know why he does it, James. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd bring that up on this podcast. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm glad you did or not. Is the problem? I am. Oh my lord. What um, the fuck? While we're talking about Scran, let's move from shitty pilchards on toast. Nothing's gonna be shitter than to that. To one of the greatest meals I have ever had the pleasure of eating. Mm. Now, yesterday, James. We were trouble seen so far. We went to Plymouth. We did. And I had my first ever Nando's. And I can safely say it's one of the greatest things, uh, the greatest thing I've ever eaten. Because both you and Parker never had it before. No. I had a proud dad moment. Honestly, I don't know how I, I'm addicted. I want Nando's now. So good. It's annoying that it's the furthest ones in Plymouth because now I really, really want Nando's. Oh, so I would make a trip to Plymouth just for Nando's. Yes. Genuinely, I would. Yes. We should just, gen just purely to go to so Fuck Nando's. So, Nando's, sponsor us, please. Oh, they, they replied to my tweet as well because yeah. I tweeted saying excited and they were like, yeah, well in. Oh, pick up. So, up the now. Genuinely, great. Um, Four little chicken thighs. Medium, obviously. Perry chips, garlic bread, and halloumi to start. Oh, oh that, halloumi, that halloumi is the best restaurant halloumi. Oh, oh, I can't have halloumi anywhere, anywhere else now. Yeah. I can never have so halloumi good. from anywhere. I think garlic bread is the wrong choice. Because yeah, the, the spicy great. rice livens up the chicken. I also feel like their garlic bread it's not, isn't great. No. <coughs> I must admit, I do wish I'd gone... Recovering from cold. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a little bit better, but like, that's good. I'm but still, like, still dying slightly. Yeah, that's fine. And I know, I know my body in this like slightly dying phase is going to last for the next week. And then you'll come out of it. Like, I'm just, I'm just going to be like vaguely ill for the next that's week. Right. Well, at least we finished like assess assessments and shit now. Yeah. Which well in. We're Big done enough. with first year now, and that's it. Well, we still got little workshops, but nothing will be graded on, so that's good for us, isn't it? <sighs> Don't. <laughs> it's what you said earlier. I, I'm not going to mention any names. People on the course watch this, so... Yeah, uh, right, so I'm going to remain non-specific. Because, to be fair, I don't mind if this gets back to the person it's about. Because it's true. Yeah, but we... Yeah, go on. So, we were getting ranted at quite heavily about our attendance. Not us specifically, even though our attendance was a bit spotty throughout the year. It was. But, like, as a group, they were like, 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 right, like, there should be one of you that has a week off for some big reason. A couple of you should have a day off here and there. Apart from that, everyone should be in all the time. Mm. No reasons are valid in this industry. And they were like, even if you come in, sit on the side, take notes for a bit, mm. and you don't try, just be in the space. Like, try your best to be in the space. Try your best to come in. Please have your attendance up as much as possible. We then get an email this morning from this person, and we were supposed to have, like, all of us together. So this affected pretty much the entire year. Like the whole, yeah. Going, I'm sorry, I've tweaked my back. I'm not coming. I, 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 the, 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 the whole thing's been cancelled. And we, we were... Uh, like, even if you sit on a chair and, like, tell yeah, us like, what to do, like, all you'd be doing is standing in the space and telling us what to do. And the other thing is, um, was there not a 
second year that was going to be there. Mm. So they could have done they, a lot of it. Yeah, they they could have helped. I that that didn't ring true with me in terms it, of like it, I'm sorry either like like like. It's like I say, well, like the being honest thing. Like you've got to practice what you preach. Yeah. You can't. I like. Like I'm sorry. Like I have like lost a little bit of like. And maybe she has really, really hurt her back. But yeah. if she has, she's a word it better because the word of oh, I've, I've tweaked my back. That's it's like that. That's the thing. Either I like if you say in the email, I've really hurt my yeah. back. I'm sorry. I can't do this. And I'm, like, I'm still a little and, bit and like maybe she had like she's got like pre-existing medical mm. stuff in the back, but again we don't yeah, yeah like that like, like there is a genuine scenario where we don't have all the facts no. and we are chatting shit, but that's but what we do anyway. If we had if I had emailed in the day of a session and gone sorry, sorry I tweaked sorry, my back, I've tweaked my back, I won't be in. They were going. It'd be well at least come in and sit down or oh it's only tweaked. That's yeah. It's like I like I I like. For context, and bearing in mind this is about a different person, not the same person, because if this was about the same person, I would like feel no guilt in saying this. I like told, like said, lecturers go in. I'm testing negative, but I have quite bad like COVID-like symptoms. And and bear in mind this wasn't the stage where it was. This isn't where it was now, where you actually don't have to isolate this even if you have right. COVID. So it was like it was like the stage where it's like not like test and trace and stuff, but like if you you know have COVID symptoms, you legally have to isolate. It was like the in between bit. And I was I was like, well, I feel like I feel crap anyway, and also I genuinely think I have COVID. I'm not coming in today, and I got two emails going. Legally, you should be in. I'm like, oh yeah, but if I tweak my back, <laughs> well, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Probably have the deadly bat scround virus. <laughs> Don't like you know. Come in, spread it. I tweaked my back. Oh, fucking. So sorry. <laughs> so low down. Maybe we're being arseholes. I think we. Yeah, but. But I'm not asked. I'm, I don't I'm not asked because if this got back to the original person... I'd be confident in going... I'd, 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 I feel like there's a bit of a double standard. I'd be, I'd be confident in going either, like, give us more context yeah. over the situation, or I think you're in the wrong yeah, here. Because if, yeah. So... <laughs> oh, so, um, toilet roll person has got back to me. Um, I went to the camper shop and they had none. So I had to get them from the back and I got, like, the world's smallest pack of loo roll. Um, back. Lol. Thanks for my nine. What do they mean the back? Rolls. Kiss, kiss. Yeah. What do they mean from the back? The back of the. Like, they had to go to the back. Like stock at the back of the shop. Oh, sorry. Do you have any loo roll? <sighs> I guess you know, like women do need to right. roll a bit more urgently that than men do. That is true. While we're talking about said <laughs> James. <laughs> Fuck it, who cares anymore? Um, what we're talking about... I feel like if I ever get an acting career, someone is going to come back to that... Oh, no, 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 sorry, no. She, she's technically going, she'll be getting them back. Um, sorry. That's okay. um, this same person has committed a food crime. Uh, I would like I to say. I will shit <laughs> all over them. So you can't lol. Um, this same person has committed a food crime recently. Oh. So they come up to me and go, guess what? I made an omelette. I was like, to be fair, yeah. I fucking like an omelette. To be fair, I, I like an omelette, right? I know what this is. Do you like omelette? Because I, I, I love omelette. Like yeah, big up. Great. Oh, <laughs> big up. So I was like, they're good, love an omelette. And then, oh, I saw this thing on TikTok where if you put a wrap on the top of it, fold it over, roll the wrap up and toast it, it's really... Toasted egg wrap. Sorry. They had a toasted omelette wrap. They're definitely getting their toilet roll back now. <laughs> I was going to say, absolutely not. Fuck them. A toasted omelette wrap. That's... What the fuck? <laughs> Doesn't work, does it? <laughs> didn't, didn't work. <laughs> didn't work, work did it? Like, I, I cannot comp. My, I genuinely cannot comprehend that. Mm. Omelette is Man. great. I love a wrap. Let's not be putting the two things together. Yeah. And then fucking toasting it. How do you roll? How big is the omelette to roll to be able to be rolled inside a wrap? Because mm. that's my question. 
Or how fucking big was this wrap? I can't work out the logistics of this. It's maybe like a half omelette. No, no, it je no, it was a full omelette. But then that folds up. That's too, that's a lot of egg in one bite. That's my qu yeah, That is exactly very what eggy. I, that's why I'm so confused. Because even then, rolling up that, surely it would just spill out. Yeah. I'm so confused. I'm a wee bit baffed. Do you know what that strikes me as something that that strikes me as something someone like Pret a Manger would sell? Yeah. A toasted omelette wrap. Almond croissant. Yeah. Oh, Pret is a cunt. I'm sorry. That's going straight in the media cunt box. And you like, Pret a Manger. And you turn like. You know, like two meters in London. Oh, there's, there's, there's a new there's fucking pret. Every corner, it's like Costas here, like, like, like Cafe Nero's up there. Every on every corner, there's a fucking pret. No wonder most Londoners are pretentious assholes. They because, usually go to pret because they go to pret. I hate it. I, I you cannot get a normal thing at pret. Hmm. You want a bottle of water? If only got smart water. But you cannot get a normal thing at pret. It's always some bougie shit with almonds in it. I genuinely feel like <laughs> I wasn't gonna mention it that you went. Oh. I genuinely feel like uh, if I've become a famous actor, something I say on this podcast is gonna get me come back and, Yeah, it's gonna come back and kill you. But you know, fun in it, good funny. Allow people to grow and change yes. their opinions, and also society changes its opinions. Things that are acceptable now will probably not be acceptable in. 20. I probably won't be able to move about tweet fucking backs in five years. No, so no, 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 no. Get a fucking grip. If you don't like yeah. it, don't watch. <laughs> that was, yeah, exactly. If you don't like it, you can fuck off. I know you're not meant to bring up segues, but I did a really good segue there. Because my other note was Prep being a cunt. Oh. So I managed to seemingly. Well, I know you're not meant to bring it up, but I was really proud of myself, so I thought I'd let you know. Oh. Uh, Fucking Do prat. you think I tell the truth or lie more to customers at work? Oh, lie. Because my... A lie is a lie. Is a lie. lie. <laughs> Niche. Niche. <laughs> uh, so my dad being was like, well, you don't really have much reason to lie at work. Oh, you so do. So, therefore... You know, I don't know why you'd lie. Bear in mind, bloke's never worked a customer service job in his life, or ever had to work hard saying, in his life. I... So, you know, like, slight naivety when it comes to this. I came up with an answer that I think makes it true. Okay, I have an answer in my head as to why. If you right. say one thing to every customer, so obviously it's, it's well known that I work in a supermarket job. So every customer, even on like a self-scan, on, you know, like bloody click and collect on the dills. It, I will likely say something like, like the conversation will likely go, hi, you're right. Hey, you're right. And I'll go, oh yeah, I'm at work. You're not I'm right. not all right. Now, I obviously, you know, like I'm not gonna go, well, no, I'm at work, stupid question. Cause that's not great customer service, no. but Every person I interact You've gone, with, oh, I'm all right. I lie. I've got another uh, argument for you as to why you always lie. I tell every single customer at my job when they leave to have a nice day. Yes, I don't I could give a shit less. if you have a nice day. I, could care less. I don't care. Fuck off. Let your child trip over into the lake. I don't care. When they leave, you go. I'll oh, have a nice day. I don't give a shit. No, I'm just piss off and leave me care. alone now. So that, that would be my argument is, I don't care if you have a nice rest of your day. I just want you to leave me alone. Oh, it seems like little conversation things. It's just like, oh, that's nice. It isn't. Yeah, it isn't. It isn't. It's, it's a standard, bog standard day that boring human yeah. beings live to try and pass the monotony of life along. <laughs> sure. Like, at the end of the day, like, maybe that's cynical, but, you know, like... M most of the things people do, like, say, oh, that's interesting. No, it isn't. No, it's a... just not. Yeah. <laughs> you are dull. Yeah. This is the dullest conversation. I am using you for money. <laughs> like, at the end of the day... <sighs> do you know what really annoys me at, work, at my work? So, I where I work is, like, an outdoor farm slash... The Outback Shack. Yeah, it's weird. It's, like, it's, it's a working farm, but it's also got, like... Like attractions for kids, but not like road coasters, like little things. It's quite a nice little place. Little and what belly. Really pisses me off. The big bounty. Is this what a big bouncy thing? Oh, well, we've upgraded. Now hear me out here. So Sorry. instead of one, oh, yeah, the, 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 so instead of one, 
we've got two. Then we've got three. Two big bellies. Three big bellies. So the other one's gone now, and we're making that into another park. And we've got three that are twice the size. So we've got two that are twice the size of the original, and one that's especially for um, disabled children, so they can use it better with wheelchairs, which is lovely. That's actually really sweet. So it's sweet. sort of more, it's more in the ground. So obviously, before context, it's basically a massive bouncy castle that's like permanently in the ground, so you're like ground, and then it goes up like that. And then we've got a new one that the ground's here, and the pillar's sort of here, so they can use it better. That's which is really nice. That, right? that is quality. Which is amazing. That goes into the mediocre class lot. Yeah, oh, we've got the class lot, I love that. That, that, that. Yeah, which I, I was mean, really you impressed. can't put on scare events, but. <laughs> well in. It's really nice. And I thought, you know what, I haven't seen it in person yet, because it's done while I'm still here, but I've seen pictures like, oh, that's great. I would say send me a picture, because I want to see what that looks like, but then I don't think you can really, you know, there's some child protection stuff yeah. in, like, taking pictures of some kiddies. I'll see if I had a picture for you. Oh, I'll oh, I will. But, no, generally, and what annoys me at my work, so I'm outside a lot of the time, is if it's raining or it's cold, and someone comes up... To it's still shit. It's not great. And someone comes up to me, it's usually, I don't want to up, it's usually an, uh, someone who's a more elderly and goes, oh, <laughs> hey, more you elderly. must be cold. I'm fucking freezing, love. Or I, it's pouring down with rain. I'm sat on a bench by the bumper boats, wanting to die like this. And they're like, oh, you must be cold. <laughs> I will throw you in the lake, it's woman. Like, like, I'm freezing! So people go up to me, and like, like if I've got like no customers, they'll go, Oh, you look bored, I'll come help you. Fuck off! <laughs> Just leave me alone! <laughs> I'm happy in my own thoughts, and you come along and go, Oh, do you want some help, love? No, fuck off! Oh, Wilby, I'll like be sat there on my phone. It's a really quiet day at winter, and this family come along. Oh, I'll give you something to do. Go on, kids. Sit, just please fuck off. It's so cold and wet and dark. Please piss off. I hate, like, like, like. I'm not looking forward to a summer of dealing with customers. It was the, it's been the point made that everyone should work six months of a proper customer service. Yeah, like, I and, believe that. And, and there needs to be, like, 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 strictly, we're talking, like, over the counter, like, fast food, like. Anything like that where you just have to interact with people because it would make the world less assholey. Yeah, because people would understand what like oh, I don't, God, but I people just, just they just expect like like it's it's when I, I think it's the difference between the people that treat you as their like equal human being and the people and this doesn't link to like my like policy or like honesty or anything because there's a difference between like being an arsehole for the sake of it and being an arsehole for like meaning something because mm. there are some people that will go into a customer service job and because uh, in terms of like coming to where you work and because they think they got a better job than you they are a better human being than you get off your fucking yeah. arse i'm sorry you are a cunt. Yeah, honestly. You are not better than me because you super had a laptop all day and you fucking do shit. But fuck off. Fumes me. Honestly, and this drink's still shit. <laughs> I was going to say, if this drink was nice, it wouldn't be as bad. But it's wank. You know how we talked about how, oh, well, we have loads of um mm. topics. I think I'm done. So. <laughs> ah, good, funny. Sci fi is a setting, though. Of course it is, yeah. What a knob. I think that is me done. Yeah, that is me done. Um. Oh. This is a shit drink, James. This really is a bit poor. Like, it's brew just... dog, do some nice stuff. This. Yeah. This is not. Didn't work. Not did it. One of those things. No, it tastes like shit. It, it's not great. I will drink it for I will drink it. benefits. And also, you spent money on it, so I will drink it. That's the thing. I know it's a special thing, but like, £3 each. That's a lot. Tastes like shit. And if it was good. Yeah. Do you know I think we could let them? Le <laughs> no, good. I personally <laughs> don't know who could level a lump. Do you know who could nail a layer cake cider? It would be brothers. Big up. If brothers did a layer cake cider, it would probably be good. Yeah. I actually don't know because some of their like I don't like their marshmallow. One. Have you tried their marshmallow one? I think I don't like that one. Marshmallow Brothers is an impressive feat without tasting good in terms of like you drink it like like for example i don't know you drink you like like, like i can't think of a specific example but you have a lot of things that like claim to be like 
this like like, that, like you can have something that's like flavor, like a caramel flavored drink, and you're just thinking, well, this just tastes like sugar. Yes. For a marshmallow cider to genuinely actually taste like marshmallow, and it does. It does. Simulates that experience. It does very taste well. like marshmallow, but I'm not. The problem is, it's not very like a drinkable marshmallow. Doesn't actually taste nice. Fair, I'm not a fan of marshmallows, really. Only why you don't like it then? It's like yeah. Well, it's like you know, I don't like the pink grape, grapefruit brothers, but that's because I don't like pink grapefruit. No, but rhubarb and custard. Is there another colour? Is there a red grapefruit? Like, is there a red grapefruit? Am I chatting on my ass? <laughs> is there? There's a red grapefruit in there. Oh, what if there's not? Is yeah, red grapefruit. Is there? Yeah. It's just called grapefruit. Oh yeah, red grapefruit. And then pink grapefruit. Yeah, we're good. It's one of things that looks sick, but I bet it's horrible to just eat raw. Oh, I just, I can't. Like it looks nice. My dad actively buys like pink grapefruit juice. Oh, God. what just like like just not like, like your orange juice, apple juice? You just like yeah. pink grapefruit juice. And it's like it's just so That's bitter. Weird. Yeah. So That's like people who just drink cranberry juice. Mm. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? There used to be thing that Sainsbury's used to do. Like my grandparents used to get for me cherry juice. I've had that. I don't lovely. mind the cherry juice. I, lovely. I, you know what? Cherry Coke is lovely. Yeah. If you get pear juice, right? That's quite nice. Pear, I love a pear. I haven't had a pear in ages. A little like mango Ooh. juice, like oh, mango, mango smooth. I, I had a sm I had a I had a thing of mango juice and I finished it today and I was really quite the upset. the innocent. Oh. I'm not obvious, go back, going back in the day. Throwback. Uh, there's one innocent that just tops everything, which is mango passion fruit and apple oh. as a smoothie. It's expensive, oh. but it's worth it. So good. It's so worth it. Because like I remember when they changed it, it used to just be mango and passion fruit, and, and then they, they changed it to apple, and I was a bit like, why? But then actually, you it and it's like it kind of like calms all the flavours down a little yeah, bit, it chills it out a bit. Yeah, it creates a lovely balance. It does. What a lovely note to end on, talking about lovely balances of fruits. And then I just drink that and I'm thinking, well, this is shit. <laughs> Probably what they're thinking watching this. Well, thank you for watching. Shred folks. your wheat, pull your pork, put your papers in the thing, and. Fuck off. Fuck off. That was Something not the like quote. That. We'll, we'll find out the yeah, quote. Yeah, we'll find out the quote. Um, as always, subscribe to everyone ever. Please. Just because. I, I beg. Ego boost, in it? Especially here. Please. That'd be lovely. And his channel, and my channel, all the channels. Links are everywhere. Links are everywhere. Yes. Thank you. Big up. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> That's going to be the outro. <laughs>